my name is Vicki Justice, bikini model from Miami, Florida, and today I'm going to show you a beginner lower body workout that's going to train your legs and your butt. So once you're ready, let's begin. So we're going to do some ankle weight exercises. It's a great exercise to start with because it's really going to isolate your butt muscles and target them. So basically you're going to get some ankle weights on. I have a 20 pound ankle weight and you're going to get here on your hands and knees and we're going to go up and up. So you're going to put your foot out behind you and a little to the side so it's diagonal. You're going to be on your elbows here. So you're just going to lift up, go back down. We're going to do 15 on each side. So make sure you go nice and slow and you're really squeezing your butt and getting it work. Go as high as you can and really squeeze your butt. Also keep your abs tight and your back straight. Make sure you're only using your foot muscles to lift your leg. All right, so we just did 15 on one side. Now we're going to switch sides. And we'll go up and do another 15. You should feel it burning. Keep going. Ready, squeeze your butt. They're almost done, keep going. All right, so I was focusing on that leg. So you can take a few seconds to rest or catch your breath, and we're gonna still do something else with the ankle weights and keep them on. So what we're going to do next is kickbacks. So it's really great to lift and shake your butt. So we're going to be on your elbows again. And you're just going to lift your leg up like this while it's still bent. And you're going to kick up and come back down while it's still bent. So we're doing 15 on each side of this. We go up and squeeze your butt. All right, that was 15 on the side. Now switch legs. Make sure you're keeping your abs tight. You really work your butt. Alright, so you just did 15 on each side for the kickbacks. So after the butt isolation exercises, you can go ahead and take out the ankle weights and now we're going to do some squats. So we're going to do 30 squats. And squats are really great for your butt and your legs. So you're going to stand about hip width, shoulder width apart. You're going to sit your butt back and come up. You have to make sure to keep most of your weight in your heels. And you have to keep your back straight and your abs tight. So you should really sit back, put it in your butt, and press up from the heels. Make sure you go as low as you can. And you squeeze your butt. You should feel your butt working every single time. You come up. Now 
Apple's done. Keep going. Make sure your knees are not passing your toes. You're sitting back. Those are our 30 squats. So now we're going to do some stepping back lunges, which are really great for your legs to tone them up and for your butt to shake them too. So you can hold on some for bounds. So I'm going to touch this wall. And basically, you're just going to step back, drop it low, feel in your butt, and come back up. And we're alternating legs, so each time is a different side. So we're doing 30 total. Make sure you really Get your butt back. You should be pressing it from your heel. When you go down, make sure your knee doesn't pass your toes. So you're doing the correct one. Those are our stepping back lunges. So that was a really great beginner workout, especially if you haven't worked out before and this is your first time. This is a great workout to start off with. So you can do this workout every single day, and once you progress and you get better, you should definitely move on to the harder workout. So once again, my name is Vicky Justice. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.